Over the past 20 years, we've gotten better and better at identifying whether a new technology will replace an old one. But incumbents still wait too long to adapt, while startups rush in too soon and exhaust their resources before the revolution even begins. The classic way to visualize a new technology replacing an old one is to chart performance over time. The point at which the new technology crosses paths with the old one is the moment when substitution occurs. In this scenario, the old technology has no room for improvement, and the new technology seamlessly and rapidly replaces it. An example of this would be new, energy-efficient light bulbs replacing old-fashioned ones or 16 gigabyte flash drives replacing older 8 gigabyte versions. The choice is a no-brainer. Let's call this creative destruction. The reason we still struggle with the timing of substitution is because we must also consider the ecosystem of the technology. New light bulbs are plug and play. They fit in your existing socket with no additional changes. But many inventions require a massive shift in their ecosystem in order to catch on. HD TVs, for instance, are no good unless TV networks, cable companies, and media producers are also able to provide high-definition content. So this slowed down the HD TV revolution by decades. This shift is called the illusion of resilience. Old TV technology wasn't getting any better, but still held its ground for a long time, while HD TV technology waited for its ecosystem to catch up. There's also a third scenario to contend with. When there is room for improvement in either the existing technology or its existing ecosystem, that raises the bar across the board. In other words, the new technology, even if it is already compatible with the current ecosystem, has to meet or exceed higher standards of performance before it can take over. And that takes more time. This is called robust coexistence because the new and old technologies are competing against each other in the same market. You see this today with hybrid cars. The conversion is easy because they don't require charging stations like fully electric cars. But traditional gas engines are simultaneously becoming more efficient. The performance bar keeps getting higher and higher, and gas engines have yet to be completely replaced. So what happens when both the new technology is slowed down by its ecosystem, and the old technology is improving its performance? This is called robust resilience, and it is the slowest form of substitution. For example, while hybrid and gasoline cars battle it out for the highest performance, fully electric cars are still dealing with the ecosystem changes necessary to make them mainstream. By the time there are enough charging stations and other systems in place for everyone to feel comfortable driving a fully electric car, the performance standards that these new cars must meet will also be incredibly high. To predict the timing of substitution, both startups and incumbents must pay attention to both their ecosystem and the old technology's potential to improve.